Hello everyone, our today's topic for discussion is anti-metabolites. In this lecture, we will discuss about the classification, mechanism of action and the structure activity relationship of pyrimidine analogs, purine analogs and the folic acid analogs. So anti-metabolites are the compound that prevents the biosynthesis or the utilization of normal cellular metabolites. These analogs are related to the normal component of the DNA or of coenzymes which are involved in nucleic acid synthesis. These drugs competitively inhibit the utilization of normal substance or get themselves incorporated forming dysfunctional macromolecules. If we talk about uses, then these are used as antineoplastic agent. Like mercaptopurine is used in the treatment of acute monocytic leukemia. Methotrexate is used, as, uh, used in epidermoid cancer of the head and neck. Fluorouracil is used in colorectal cancer and floxeridine is used as GIT cancer and so on. Coming to the classification. These antimetabolite drugs can be classified as pyrimidine analogs, purine analogs and the folic acid analogs. One by one we can discuss all. The first is the pyrimidine analogs and the drugs include the 5-fluorouracil, the floxeridine, the capacitabine and the cytarabine. These pyrimidine analogs inhibit the biosynthesis of pyrimidine nucleotides or change its form that interfere with the normal cellular function. The first and important drug in this category is 5-fluorouracil. This 5-fluorouracil is the analog of thymine with a fluorine group at fifth position. This drug produces two active metabolites. The first is the 5-fluorodeoxyuridine monophosphate and the second is 5-fluorodeoxyuridine triphosphate. The first metabolite that is the 5-fluorouridine monophosphate inhibit the enzyme thymidylate synthase which prevent the synthesis of thymidine which is a major building block of DNA. The second uh, metabolite that is the 5-fluorodeoxyuridine triphosphate is incorporated into RNA and interfere with RNA function. All of the other drug that is the capacitabine, the floxeridine and the cytarabine in this category have a ribose sugar. This is the ribose sugar which is present in all other drugs and this oxo group this oxo group at second position is present in all of the drug and important for the activity so depending upon all the drug structure this is the general structure for the pyrimidine analogs in which this r may be oxo like in 5 fluorouracil and floxeridine or maybe NH2 group like in cytarabine or maybe pentyl carbamate like in capacitabine. This R dash substitution of deoxyribose unit give potent compounds. For example, the cytarabine and the floxeridine. The oxo group at position 2, this oxo group at position 2 is essential for the activity. And the most potent compounds have fluoro group at position 5 or may be left unsubstituted. Coming to the mechanism of action. In normal condition, the enzyme thymidylate synthase is required for the synthesis of deoxythymidine monophosphate with deoxypyridine monophosphate and tetrahydrofolate. All the pyrimidine analogs will inhibit this enzyme that is thymidylate synthase and stops the production of pyrimidine based nucleotides like the deoxythymidine monophosphate. This deoxythymidine monophosphate is required for DNA synthesis but if it is not available then DNA synthesis is blocked. Now coming to the second class of antimetabolite that is the purine analogs. And the drugs are the mercaptopurine, 
the thioguanin, the fludarabin and the azathioprin. All the structure of these analogs are similar to the hypoxanthine and guanine with the replacement of 6 hydroxyl group with the thiol or the sulfhydryl group. The drug mercaptopurine, this is the mercapto group at 6th position, so this is known as 6-mercaptopurine. Thioguanine is a 6-mercapto analog of the guanine. The azathioprine is the derivative of the mercaptopurine and the fludorabine have a ribose sugar in the structure and all the purine analogs have purine ring in common. Coming to the structure activity relationship and depending upon all the drug structure this is the general structure and in this general structure the position 2 of the purine ring this is the position 2 and this position 2 of the purine ring can be unsubstituted or substituted with fluoro or amino group like if it is substituted with fluoro group the drug is fludarabine and if substituted with amino group then it is thioguanine this R1 can be thiol like in mercaptopurine, amino like in fludarabine or substituted with sulfaryl group like in azathioprine. This R2, the R2 can either be unsubstituted or substituted by deoxyribofuranose to give prodrug of 5 fluorouracil that is fludarabine. Now coming to the mechanism of action. The enzyme amidophosphoribosyl transferase is required for the synthesis of 5-phosphoribosyl amine from 5-phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate. And after many steps, this 5-phosphoribosyl amine will give inosinic acid which is further converted into guanylic acid and the adenylic acid. The purine analogs inhibit this enzyme that is amidophosphoribosyl transferase and hence inhibit the conversion of this inosinic acid to the adenylic acid and the guanylic acid which stops the synthesis of DNA. So this is the mechanism of action. Now coming to the third class of the antimetabolites that is folic acid analogs and the drug includes the aminopterin, the methotrexate and the trimetrexate. This is the structure for the methotrexate aminopterin in which this R can be replaced by replaced if it is hydrogen then it is aminopterin if it is a methyl group then the structure is methotrexate. All the structure of the folic acid analogs are similar to the folic acid structure. The trimetrixate, this is the structure of trimetrixate and in this structure there are three methoxy group at this aromatic ring that's why it is known as trimetrixate. In methotrixate this is the two amido pente uh, pentanidoic acid which is substituted at para position of the aromatic ring. So depending upon all the drug structure this is the general structure and in this structure this R is substituted with amino group or left unsubstituted. This amino group is important for the activity. If we increase the chain of this CH2 group then it will decrease the activity. The R1 may be methyl or hydrogen as we have discussed if it is hydrogen it is aminopterin and if it is methyl then it is methotrexate. Now the para position, this is the para position of the aromatic ring have two amido pentanidoic acid in methotrexate but it is also replaced with the methoxy group and if we place methoxy group at meta and para position like it at position R2, R3 and R4 
then the drug is trimetrexate. Now coming to the mechanism of action. The folate which is obtained from the diet or the intestinal flora is converted into dihydrofolic acid and the tetrahydrofolic acid in the presence of enzyme dihydrofolate reductase. So all the folic acid analogs will inhibit this enzyme that is the dihydrofolate reductase and prevent the synthesis of the tetrahydrofolate and thus prevent the DNA synthesis. So this is the mechanism of action of folic acid analog. So this is all about the anti metabolites. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you for your time.